Welcome to Highline Excel 2013 class video number 47. Hey, if you want to download this workbook for week 9, click on the link below the video. In this video, we want to talk about a dot plot, which is a cell chart. Now here is our data. We have cars sold. We have a bunch of names. We have a unique list here, and we've used the count if function to count how many Chevys, Fords, Hondas, and Toyotas we sold uh, in the past week. Here we have a chart, a column chart. Now we want to do something similar to this, but we want dots. So here we want three dots, four dots, nine dots, and 12 dots. All right, let's learn about the repeat function, equals repeat. R-E-P-T. It wants some text, and we're going to use as a dot in double quotes. I'm going to use an asterisk, dot. So it's easy. You put, give it the text, and then say how many times you'd like to repeat it. So I could put 3, and it would repeat it 3 times. If I put 12, it'll repeat it 12 times. So our clever little trick is we're going to tell it not a hard-coded number, but we're going to put our count if function there. So I'm going to scoot this over to the side up here. In the number times, count if. And here's the range. Click in the top cell, Control Shift down arrow, F4 to lock it. Comma, and you can see the argument screen tip change criteria, one cell below relative cell reference. Now I got to come to the end here. Count times, that's the count if. I need to close parentheses, Control Enter, and copy it to the side. Oh, that's pretty cool. Now we want it vertical, so I'm going to, with these highlighted cells, Control 1. Go to Alignment and say, hey, let's go all the way down, minus 90, click OK. Now I can increase the height of this row however tall I'd like it. And now I can do some format. I'm going to right click and use the mini toolbar. I'm going to say font color red and maybe change this to 16. And there we go. We have what's called a dot plot. And we could print this out or use it um, for whatever purpose we want. All right, uh, next video we see something similar but with conditional formatting and data bars. All right, see you next video.